Till now in the lessons, we had been working with stereo audio clips. So over here, I'm going to right click, go to new, go to audio file right here. And here we had been selecting audio. And once we did that, you notice that there are two audio uh, recording places. So one for the left speaker and one for the right speaker. Uh, if I were to change it out, let's say I'm going to right click, go to new right here. I'm going to go to audio file. And over here, I'm going to select mono as the uh, channel. So once I do that, you notice that there is only one recording area because mono channels only have one speaker. And if I were to go for the 5.1 right here, press OK, you notice that there are six areas um, for audio speaker recording uh, waves. So one for the left speaker, right, center, for the subwoofer, for the left rear speaker and the right rear speaker, as you can see. So let us understand this concept even further. So over here, this is the mono channel uh, setting where there's only uh, one audio wave coming out from the front. There's no depth in uh, audio feel whatsoever. Uh, then this is the stereo, which is pretty much the standard and is used by uh, used by various um, uh, various videos and uh, YouTube clips and whatever you find online and even is the standard for uh, headphones. So this is, uh, as you can see, has front uh, left speaker and the front right speaker. So it creates a source of uh, sort of a depth. Uh, so let's say, for example, a car is whizzing by from the left to the right. It goes from the left. Uh, it starts from the left and goes to the right. So the audio in the left speaker actually rises first and then will continue to rise on the right speaker while the left speaker audio actually uh, goes down. So now continuing on to the 5.1 speaker right here, you can see that there are six speakers. Uh, so 5.1 refers to five speaker and one subwoofer speaker which only has a low frequency sound output. So over here in the 5.1, you can notice that there is front left speaker, front right speaker, rear left and rear right speaker, a center speaker and a subwoofer which only emits the uh, uh, woofer sound that is the low frequency sound. So if you were to go to 7.1, sorry, this is not 5.1, this is 7.1, you can see that there are seven speakers now. So front left, center left, rear left, front right, center right, rear right, center, which is the seven and subwoofer 0.1. So now inside of addition, when we talk about different audio waves and uh, audio waves for different speakers, that is what we are talking about to create a sense of depth. We can edit that out in Adobe Addition. And over here, you didn't see that there was an option for 7.1. We can actually create that quite easily. We can simply go to new audio file and you can see that under channels, there's custom as well. And right now, 5.1 is selected. If I were to press the plus button right here, the center surround, as you can see. And if I were to press plus again, you got left center right here. And you can go for right center. And there you go. That is 7.1 surround sound with eight number of speakers right there. If you want to add even further more depth, you can actually do that. I am uh, saying that there is uh, more more audio system that actually supports it, you can press plus and add in another speaker over there as well. So you can add as many speakers as you want, press OK. And there's uh, the different speaker options, the different channels that you can record in just like that. So Audition gives you great flexibility for it. So that is how audio channels work inside of Adobe Audition. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.